here we are on day six of the YouTube 30 day live challenge. Okay, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. So today is day six of my YouTube challenge going live. It's my sixth day, yes. And um, the secret is, <laughs> this is not day six in consecutive days. So my intention was to go every single day when I started this challenge to myself, go live for 30 days. And I had every intention of going live 30 days straight nonstop. So I have a feeling that most people are more like me, that you have like so much going on. You have the right intentions. You're making forward progress. You're not stopping. You're not quitting, but unforeseen things come into your life that you couldn't plan for, couldn't prepare for. And uh, what happens is sometimes instead of letting that just simply delay you, maybe you've let that stop you in the past. Maybe you've quit on yourself or your target because of a delay. And, I, you know, honestly, I just don't believe that there are any deadlines on your goals. There's no deadlines on your dreams. There's no deadline on the calling of God that's on your life. And you know, who says that you have to do something within a certain time limit in order for it to be accomplished? Uh, yeah, there are a few things in life that, sure, you can miss the window of opportunity. That's fine. It is what it is. However, just because you miss one window doesn't mean there aren't five, six, seven, you know, unlimited amount of other windows that can be created, that can be pursued by just continuing, just pick yourself right back up and just keep going and just get right back on track. Uh, I read the Bible on my, on my version app. And so it's an app on the phone. I, you know, I do read my regular Bible as well. <laughs> but I love the audio version of you version because it's just something I can do while I'm getting ready, uh, doing my makeup at the at the mirror in the morning or while I'm driving in my car, I can hit play and just keep up on my Bible reading. But even with that, sometimes I don't get my Bible reading in daily like I desire to or like I had intended to. So I found a, an element of the app recently that just, uh, it just made me feel so much better when I saw it. So in the past, when I would kind of like get behind on my Bible reading plan, I would just see the days going, going, going like, oh, great. Now I'm, uh, now I'm two days behind. Oh, shoot. Now I'm two weeks behind. And even if you're getting in days here and there, your overall goal of where you wanted to be in the first place. It just feels like that goal post gets farther and farther away. So there's this feature in the YouVersion app um, in the Bible, re Bible reading plan that if you push that, it just says, catch me up. And whoa, lo and behold, okay, it moves that goal post right to where you're totally caught up with the plan because the truth is yeah you're still making forward progress so i decided to adopt that in so many areas of life you know there's really important things going on sometimes in your family that your attention is much better spent spent there and there are certain things that if you're not present for it no one else can fill that place and then there are other parts of your life where if you're not showing up for it, it's it's okay. Like <laughs> something will fill that vacuum and it's not like the world fully is depending upon you showing up in that spot. But there are relationships that if you don't show up for, no one else is going to show up for them. And those are the things where, you know, you just walk in discernment and you know what choices you're making and you live with that and you're okay with that. And you don't live under any sense of guilt or any sense of shortfall uh, by, you know, moving the goalposts a little bit. If you postpone something that, you know, a goal or a target, get, target date that no one else knew you had in the first place, you know, Nobody is even going to know. <laughs> so you're totally fine. I think the 
The point is just don't quit. I mean, if you just don't quit, you will get there. So that's what I have to say. Just like give yourself a catch up button, an internal catch up button and, and be okay and just move the goalpost, move yourself closer to that goalpost and then don't quit. Just get back up, keep going. Um, the Bible says that a righteous person falls seven times, but rises every time. So the most righteous thing you can do sometimes for yourself is just don't give up completely. Don't completely back out, but just get back up and just keep going. And sometimes when you get back up, your priorities within that goal change a little bit too. And that's okay. Maybe you decide you don't want to do it the same way you thought you wanted to do when you set out. That's okay. Like nobody's judging you. Nobody even knows. Anyway, have a great day. And I hope this helps you take ownership of your unique identity, your unique place in the world, the unique calling God has on your life. You are amazing.